Welcome to the lesson on the 5th of November. We're going to bring in some Purple Mash games and we're going to link two files, which are HTML files, by using anchors. We're going to link the two files together so that one can jump to the other and we can navigate back and forth between these two HTML files. So we're building a web page, notable as a web page, that they both link together. they connected as a web. I hope that you're going to enjoy this lesson. My name is Erin Bradley. I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa. And we're a school that's very, very intent on promoting technology. We've been doing coding for about a year and a half, if not two years. And it's been a wonderful experience sharing this with the learners. And in today's lesson, we build on something that was revised somewhat back a few weeks and we hope that you enjoy it. Here you can see the layout of Windows Explorer. You can see how I've laid out my files with 2019. This year's files go in that folder. We are going to put our HTML files in this 2019 folder. That's where we're going to place them and we're going to link one file, an HTML file, with another. Both of those files will be an HTML file hypertext markup language. It's very important to be able to lay your files out in an orderly way. They have to be organized well. So you need to have folders, you'll have files inside folders, and then you'll sometimes have even other folders inside those folders. So you need to lay it out, you have to be systematic. I've laid these files out in the documents folder and there you can see it says 2017, 2017. That was the year I came to Brian Evan. It was in late 2017 and there's 2018 and this year 2019. I want to show you how to make a folder. So I've opened the 20 and 2019 and in this area I'm going to make a folder where we're going to keep, keep our HTML file. So in the white space below, I'm just going to right click and then I'm going to choose new. And there it is, the second last one. Move across, click on folder, and I'm, go I'm going to name this folder appropriately HTML, hypertext markup language, and today's date, the 5th of November. So I'll call it that. So it gives us some identification of the file. I've just opened it so you can see inside the folder. As you can see, there's nothing in it. And it's found in the documents folder. So you can see it's in documents. And right there, that's where it is. Let's just find that file again. So we're going to go into the documents folder, HTML5, November the 5th. And there you can see, once again, there's nothing in it. We want to create an HTML file, file, so I'm right-clicking and I'm looking for a folder and I'm going to rename this folder because this is where we're going to hold our first HTML document. So I'm going to call it file one. You may call it whatever you We need to bring in another file, another folder, which we're going to call file two. So I'm going to obviously go through the same thing again. We right-clicked and we gave it a name, we called it new folder. Now we have two folders. Now I want to make an HTML file. So I know I'm in file one, that's the folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to look, right click, new, and I'm going to look for text document. Text document should take me to notepad. So if I click on that, text document, I click on it, and this selection is showing me the def default name, and I'm going to change that to first dot and I'm going to change the txt to dot htm and I want you to just watch how the icon changes when I press enter so now I press enter and as I press enter you watch the browser will now know that it's going to interact after I click on yes that's just warning me it's warning me or do I really want to change the extension and here we go you can see that Chrome is the browser and this icon is showing me that Chrome is going to link or open this file. It, the computer understands that it's a file that's made for the browser. That extension that I added in is what helped the computer to understand the HTM extension. 
if I had left it with txt, it would have been interacting with the, the default text editor notepad. Now I do want to put in the HTML, so I'm going to go to notepad because I want to open notepad, the text editor, and I want to enter my HTML elements. And we have gone through this quite extensively. We write the beginning, the HTML beginning, and the end with the forward slash, there it is, HTML. And now we're going to still add in the head and the body sections, and we should know how to do this. That's the head, and the ending of the head, which sometimes has a title in it, would be shown with a forward slash. Usually that forward slash would tell us that we are working with the ending and the body forward slash body and we end it like that and that brings us to our HTML file we have already saved it with the HTM extension so when we save it now it's going to be automatically an HTML file and this will then become part of that HTML file so now I'm going to save this in that folder but all of this what I'm showing you now is part of the HTML file. It'll just be saved as it. Everything I'm selecting is now going to be part of that HTML file. And we're going to bring parts and things into the body section. So I'm going to copy this. And the reason why I'm copying it is I want to make, I'm just going to save it. And you'll see it's all saved in that document. Now I need to go over here, look on HTML 5 November. I'm going to go to that folder. Then I'll open file 2. And this is a really good way of navigating around. And I'm going to right-click, New. And we're going down to the text document. I'm going to open it. And remember, we're going to do what we did before. This is our second file. So we're going to call it second. And we must change that extension. We've got to get rid of that txt.htm, hypertext markup. And here we see it warns us, do you want to change the extension? We're confident, yes. And we can now have that. So we can open it up in Notepad. And I'm going to paste that HTML that I copied on my clipboard. And we're going to work with this. And now we want to get to Purple Mesh. And we're going to use an animation. I'm going to launch the app. And I'm going to show you how to get a GIF file that you can feed into your hypertext markup language document. So I'm just going to make a silly animation. So I'm just going to draw something over here. So just draw a little squiggle nothing in particular and I'd just like to show you how to do that because the most important thing while we're doing this is not necessarily my artistic ability but to show you how to bring this in to your HTML so I'm going to just type something when remember whenever you use the this tool I'm just going to re, um, show you that you must press enter when you finish ants are living in colonies so once you finish typing, just press enter and it will be part of the document. You can bring in a lot of your learning content if you're learning for exams. Let's choose that color. I'm going to just fill with the paint bucket tool. You should know that. I've gone through this with you. And we'll use the paint bucket tool to just fill in the background. Go with the blue. Didn't go too well in the colors there. Oops. Undo. Click on that. And the paint bucket's filling all of these. You can see it's that paint bucket tool. Now I wanted to show you how to share this. So I'm going to just first of all save this in my work folder. You can see it says my work. So I'm going to just call it test for Bongani. He's a very good coder in my group. He often comes to the computer room and it's saving. And it's in my work folder. So I'm going to show you where it is. Just click on work folder, work. And there, I don't see it. If I open, you can see that this is a different animation. And I don't really want that one. So probably need to refresh now the refresh button is over here so just refresh and that should bring everything up and you can see right at the top the latest file that I've worked on test on Bongani so now I can go on this go down to export because I want to export it into my download folder so I go click on this download and this is going to be exported as a Giphy I want to slow down the animation because I want it to be suitable so I'm just going to go once again, export, click on that, download, and it's going to go onto my PC. So it's loading now onto my PC. You should see it's on the PC. And automatically, you can see my PC is playing the GIF file. GIF is the name of the extension. Now, I just want to see in my downloads folder, click on that, and 
you can see there are two GIF files right at the top. Look at the extensions, GIF, export one and export. These are the two multimedia files we're going to use in our hypertext markup language files. So export one and export. Now I need to know where these files are kept, the address. Where are they on my computer? The location of these files. So I'm going to shift and right click. So okay, very important. Shift and right click and go down to copy as path. Click that. And now I go to my documents. I'm going to open 2019. I'm looking for HTML 5th of November. Open it up. Right click and I'm going to open with my notepad. Click on notepad. And there you can see my HTML already in there. Now watch what I'm going to do. We're going to build an image tag, an image element, IMG space. And now we're going to type SRC. That's the location of the file equals. And now we're indicating where the path, where this file is kept, the address of the file. So I'm going to right click or I can press control V. And there you can see it is the GIF file. And I'm going to give it a height of equals. And let's go with 200. I'm just going to use single quotes, 200. And I'm going to go with width of an equal. Let's also go with 200. And we'll use the single quotes as well. So we got a width and a height of 200. It's going to be a square. Right, and that's all. We close it with that tag. We go save. And I wanted to show you when we open it click it and there you can see my animation is now part of my HTML it's not in purple mesh it's being fed into my HTML if you want to open this file you right click and you want to get to the HTML behind it go to notepad and you can see there is the file the GIF file is found at eBradley downloads and it's called export in brackets one showing it's the first a second export the first one will just be called export and then it'll be now I'm going to show you how to make an anchor so we're going to make this a link that will jump to the other file which I, I called second I think it was called second so I'm going to go href that's the reference when you make an anchor of the location of the other file now this one's called first so I'm going to go to HTML 5 of November and I'm going to go to second and I'm going to shift right click shift right click copy as part I have now copied the location of that file. I'm going to right click and paste it in there. There you can see this is called first and it's going to link to second. And that saved it. Let's put it in there. And I want to just tab to show you that the image is found inside this anchor. Look, there's the beginning and ending and it's found in the anchor. Let's save it. And remember, it's automatically saving as an HTML document. How exciting. Can you see that our GIF file is now playing in our HTML document? Not a great movie, but when I click on it, look, it's opened the other file, which is empty. Let's just go over how you get through to the HTML. So you're going to right click. You're going to go open with your notepad. So open with, and you look for notepad. And there you've got your HTML. And then we bring in those elements that I showed you before. So we go with A for anchor. The anchor links to a file. So we href, hypertext reference is the file we're going to jump to. So let's go look for that. And here I'm going to hold down shift and right click, copy as path. Copy as path is going to copy on the clipboard the address of that file. So now I need to just open this one. If I open it in Notepad, I can right click and paste the address. And it'll know where to jump. Remember, an anchor will always tell us where we are going to go. So Blake is champion. I'm just going to write that in and then I'm going to close my anchor with the forward slash and close it like that. We can now just save it. So we go file save and the hypertext markup is all behind it all. It's all there. We have created a hyperlink. So let's have a look at that. If I click on this, this GIF file, if we click on it, it's going to jump to Blake is champion, which is found in second HTM. If I click on Blake is champion, that writing, it jumps to our GIF file in first HTM. So the two files are linked to each other. This is the reason why we call it the World Wide Web. They are all linked together by hyperlinks. And in this case, our hyperlink is a GIF file and some text. I just want to go through the process of bringing in an activity. So we're going to go to Purple Mash. And here I'm in the work folder. And here's Jasmine's work. I'm going to open it. 
and you can see she's done an animation which we'd like to bring into our HTML. Now, I could play it, but I'm not really going to go through that process. It would be nice if she had colored it in a little more, but let's go to this purple over here, click and go to share, and we're going to go and look for the embed code, and there it is, embed. Triple click is going to select everything, and I'm going to copy that code. And that's what we're going to bring into our HTML. We've done this before. I'm going to just look for the file first, HTM. I'm just going to right click, open with. What do we use it? Notepad. The, uh, we are going to copy this iframe inside our body section of the HTML file. And we saved it. We open it now. We should see her work inside. It's a little small, but there you can see it. And if we do resize it, it will look a lot better. We'll do that just now. So you can see there's Jasmine's work right in there. If I click on the hyperlink, which is the GIF file, I've got Blake is champion. If I click on the GIF file, it takes me to Blake is champion. I'm opening Purple Mash, and I'd like to just find another activity. There's a puzzle, my badge, the school badge. Wonderful, we've got a beautiful school badge. And you can see here is our school badge. So I'm going to just share that, go to the sharing part, and what are we looking for? The embed code. Click on there. Triple click. We're going to triple click. I'm just selecting it that way. We can just triple click and it selects it a lot faster. Copy. OK. And I'm going to take it back into that HTML. Now, we know we, what we were in first. So I'm going to look for file two. And I'm going to go with second. Open with notepad. And that brings us to the code behind the, the and We're going to paste the iframe in there. And this should provide us with a puzzle. But I need to change the size. We can't have it so small. So that'll go to 1,000. Let's change this to 600. So we've got a better looking HTML file. I'll still need to do it with the other one as well. Because remember, I needed to still change that one. You can see this is a lot better. And school badge, click on it. And we can have anybody wanting to play their Purple Mash activity in my HTML file. It's now being read by the browser. And you can play this game. It's not in Purple Mash at the moment being fed into my HTML file. Isn't that wonderful? So let's go through the process of linking. So if I go here, it still looks the same. There's Jasmine's automation. I need to still resize that. And Blake is champion. And if I click to the two, I need to go to second. File one, just open with notepad. And you can see there is I need to just reset. I want to make Jasmine's automation a lot, uh, the animation she did a lot bigger and make it look as good as the other one, which was the school badge. So I'm saving it. I did save it. Click on it. Look, that's a lot better. Ah, uh, there you can see it a bit better. And there's even a second page. And that's got a little bit of animation in it, but it would have been nice to have color. But well done, Jasmine. Great stuff. So we know when we go to the Giphy file, this is the animation. We go to that Giphy on the left. Click on there, and that'll take us to Blake. And we've got the school puzzle, which can be played in our HTML. Now, I wonder, it's probably just easier to go into Purple Mesh and interact with it there. But what are we learning about? We're learning about code. We're learning about embedding stuff in our HTML. All right, so we open with Notepad, and that's going to bring us to the code that's behind it all. And that's selected over there. And we brought it all in from Purple Mesh, that Purple Mesh game puzzle over there so let's just close that and now i just want to share the code with you so i'm going to go to shared blogs and there you can see it says coding group and this is where i'm going to paste the code that you guys will be able to look and instead of typing all this stuff you will have the basics there that you can work from i'd, I'd suggest you watch a lot of the videos if it's possible but it's called 5th of november 2019 and here is the code that is going to be used. I'm just going to paste it in the bottom. I'll just write something before. You need to make the necessary changes. And we're specifically talking about the locations of the files that you're going to use. Because remember, you're not using exactly my files to make it work. And there I've pasted in the HTML code for any of the learners. You're going to need to change that because obviously your file, HTML files that are going to link to each other are going to be different. So please do not, you're going to copy whatever I'm showing you now. That's what you're going to put into your, your documents, your HTML. You will not put in the top part that I've indicated above. So make sure that you 
don't waste a lot of time just typing everything. Go through to the blog and extract that code. I'm sure it'll, you'll find it very useful having this blog. Any per member that's part of the coding group will have access to that. I think we can leave it off at this point. I think you've been marvelous and thank you so much for listening. I do ask that you watch the videos. It'll help you to understand what we're doing in class as it gets rather complicated. Ask your family members to subscribe and support and do anything you can to help us in this coding endeavor. Um, I really do appreciate all comments, criticisms, and even points of interest. Thank you so much, guys. Look forward to your next lesson, which will be tomorrow. Today's Brian Evan lesson, return to explore our HTML co code, which is built in the text editor notepad. We looked at saving our HTML files in folders, and these were called the first and section, second. We used each of these HTML or hypertext markup language files to link using an image element within an anchor. Our lesson referred back to some of the shortcuts and quick methods of, a, of the earlier lessons. For example, the shift and right click. We used an animated GIF file which was created in Purple Mashes to animate. And then we explored the process of creating the animation file. We exported the animation to the, our download folder on our computer, and we note that the default naming convention then was a GIF extension. Full stop. This was pretty similar to our HTML extension. This animated GIF file's address or location was then placed in the image element of our HTML within the anchor. In the other complementing HTML file, we placed another anchor with some other text. At this point, both of the files then became linked with hyperlinks. And by clicking on the animated GIF file, we were navigating to the other HTML file. We moved between the two to press the point, seeing the connection. This was a very interesting le lesson for our Brian Evan learners, although it held quite a lot of difficulty for the younger learners. I would suggest that they do a little bit of revision of this, what, possibly watching the video. We placed the HTML code in the coding group's blog, and that helped us to get the position of the blog and to get the mechanics and techniques of the file location. The file location was the href and the src properties within the anchor as well as the image element. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's been tremendous for myself and I look forward to hearing from you and thanks for your support.